So in this video, we are going to start a new topic or a new chapter, which is called as probability. So now, what is probability? In everyday life, we come across statements such as, it will probably rain today. I doubt that he will pass the test. Most probably, Sandhya will stand first in the annual examination. Chances are high that the prices of diesel will go up. There is a 50-50 chance of India winning a toss in today's match. So if you notice here, the words probably, doubt, most probably, chances, etc. are used in the statements involve an element of uncertainty. For example, in one, it will probably rain will mean that it may rain or may not rain. So we are predicting rain today is based on our past experience when it rained under similar conditions. So similar predictions are also made in other cases listed in the statements 2 to 5. So the uncertainty of probably, etc. and all those things, probably, I doubt, most probably, chances, chance and all those things, can be measured numerically by means of probability in many cases. Like we can say for sure, it will probably rain today. The probability of raining today is 0.6. So that means 0.6 times out of 1, it will rain. And 0.4 times out of 1, it won't rain. Or converting it to 10, 6 times out of 10, it will rain today. And 4 times out of 10, it will not rain today. Or 60 times out of 100, it will rain today. 40 times out of 100, it won't rain today. So that's how it goes. So we've got a situation where the probability can be measured numerically by means of probability, of course. I mean, the lesson's name is probability. So though probability started with gambling, because gambling is a place where you actually need probability. So what is the probability that I'm going to win this? What is the probability that he's going to lose that? So it started off with gambling, but it has been extensively used in the fields of physical sciences, commerce, biological sciences, medical sciences, weather forecasting, etc. and lots more, lots more. So now the most important thing that we need to know as far as the probability is concerned is something called as a trial, the term trial. So what is trial? Trial is an action which results in one or several outcomes or you can say the trial is an event which results in one or several outcomes. Say, for example, tossing a coin is a trial. So that is an event. It can result in either the coin falling heads or coin falling tails. So that is what is a trial. But now, why did we do trial? Because we need the most important thing called as the empirical probability. What is the empirical probability of an event E happening? So how do we find that? Now, this is how we find that. So here it is. How do we find the empirical probability event E of an event E is by dividing number of trials in which the event happened by the total number of trials. So you do this, you get the probability of the event that happened. So this is how we measure or we find the empirical probability of an event E that is happening or either happened. So let us solve some problems based on this in the forthcoming videos.